I want to let the man himself speak for himself. Okay, guys. Pro Jared definitely married up. His wife is a very good-looking woman. And he's, well, come out as a feminist before. And he looks like this. So, um, I'm going to let him... I'm going to let him intro us, okay? Jared, I, I'll leave it to you. Hey, I haven't done one of these in a while, so sorry about that. I wanted to take a moment to update you about uh, what's going on with everything that I am doing and maybe some things you're not aware of, so... <laughs> the irony. Uh, what what are those things you're not... that you're doing? Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll jump into it. What is it you're doing? <laughs> oh, uh, now we got the ticker up. Oh, another thousand down. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, my wallet's bugging me. Um, oh, a statement. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as surprising and unsetting, upsetting, upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we both may seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. Well, I don't know what kind of uh, I don't know what kind of conclusions uh, Mr. Jared expected us to come to after seeing all the shit you guys are gonna see. But I want you guys to keep an open mind. I want you guys to I don't know come to conclusions on your own. All right. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding this matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority through all of this. It is my hope that we can both exit this marriage with style and grace. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, patience, kindness, and respect of our privacy. Well... Well, you, you might be wanting to be private with it, but there's someone else, there's another half to this uh, story who doesn't want to be private about it, and that'd be your wife. Now, you tell me, guys, in his league, out of his league, obviously she's got some fake shit on, but I'd say out of his league. Like he definitely, he definitely married his way up. And since I'm not signed in, I can't show you that shit. Fuck. Um, anyways, let's, let's get back to that. I wonder if I just click back, if it'll work. It will. Oh boy. Um, uh, I recently learned that my husband pro Jared has been fucking Holly Conrad behind my back for months. I have no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. <laughs> fucking what a fucking goof oh i don't care if she's an sjw though dude she could be an sjw and all of that but look the guy has no stones to the extreme that he decided to fucking <laughs> to put up an announcement and fucking <laughs> and block her. Oh, he put up the announcement before or after, and then blocked her so she couldn't see. Oh, oh, poor Jared, poor Jared. So now you saw Holly, right? Holly Conrad. Hmm. Who's Holly Conrad? Oh, oh, is that, is that a message from Holly Conrad on the screen? I'm so sorry you're going through this. I'm here for you if you need me. Within minutes, probably not even minutes, 
I think it was way faster than minutes. Let's see what his was. 845. 845. And she posted this at 926. So this is uh this is a woman he is uh cheating with. And well why? <laughs> no, this is Johnny. Johnny. This is shit that everyone's talking about. If you don't like it, go watch Medicare's version of it. We're all going to be talking about it because it's big news on YouTube. So, um, it's it's what's popping right now. It's a big, big thing on YouTube and it's a big thing going around. So, recycled Medicare content would be me just playing Medicare. Get it? That's recycling. Anyways, aside from Spurgy Mick, uh can't let other people have opinions because Medicare already talked about this. You can't pick or say your own thoughts on this because Medicare said it. My name is Taka Kaka 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 Mouth. Dude, come on, dude. <laughs> Anyways, so she uh she decided to jump in and comment right after. Um Heidi, however, decided to drop a lot of information and she was dropping information even this morning trying to find where she started it and as you can see there's a shit ton of stuff uh since i'm not logged in i apologize i can't put it in dark mode i really fucking wish i could uh, i'm not logged in because well i don't want my burnt account uh logged in on this ip because sooner or later this ip will be used when i get a uh, new account um Still, more and more and more. Um, I'm trying to find the point where she actually, uh, where she actually, uh, there we go. Um, I have proof, explicit conversations and photographs of their relationship, which he extensively lied to me about on many occasions. He was promising me that he was committed to our relationship at the point, at the time, and promising her he was going to break up with me. Um, he went so far as to blame me for being suspicious and making him feel like a bad person by questioning his loyalty. He gaslit me for months, insisting that he had the bare minimum of interactions with her and didn't even like her. Meanwhile, they were having sex. Jared tried very, very hard to make me feel responsible for everything that's gone wrong in our relationship. He technically broke up with me in February, insisting that the only thing wrong with our marriage was me, insisting that he had tried to make things work. Um... Jared, Jared, if you're trying to make things, uh, use dark reader. Um, yeah, I'm not going to download all that shit or put it on yet. I'll have to do it next time. Uh, I apologize for it being a, uh, the white page. Um, uh, however, you're trying to blame someone else, and apparently this started in, I don't know, uh, November, fall of last year, essentially. And, well, if you want to take a look, uh, he decided to uh, to choose Danny DeVito over, uh, over, well, his wife, who is not Danny DeVito. This, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> it's too different. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, I happened to see something while I was looking up information on this and following uh, this to talk about. And apparently they, they do a... Uh, they do a D and D stream, uh, pro Jared and Holly, and the way they play their characters, um, wasn't she married to a game grump? I don't know. Was she? It'd be, it'd be uh, news to me. She is a pigeon fancier, apparently. <laughs> what the fuck? And she apparently has uh, a stream and does streaming too. The, uh, the fact of the matter is they've been doing this D&D &D stream for quite some time 
and they act pretty weird in it and it's 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 on his account and so some people have been pointing out that fact that well he he's shown signs of this for quite some time um she decided to uh respond to people and well <laughs> i understand some shit going down on the internet if you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from someone you don't know on the internet with no previous background information and no and use use it to demonize strangers so be it this isn't anyone's business but theirs if it's worth anything you all know me i never hurt anyone i only want the happiness for those around me if you followed me for a long time you know what's going on going to get off twitter for a while <laughs> she has she has seen you naked do i want to believe her well the shit that she shows and then what fan show of him well snapchatting them dick pics and uh you know oh 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 lissa's got something and lissa usually uh brings out the fire oh yeah we already saw the wife she is definitely a, a step up compared to comparatively that's a step up comparatively to uh, to uh, Danny DeVito over there. Um, I also hate that she does that whole fake eye, big eye shit. Like, dude, you fucking, you married up and then you start fucking down. Like, really, man? <laughs> what is... <laughs> Oh, I hope uh, I hope he is. I've been trying to reach out to him. He's been fucking super slammed. Here, I'll text him right now. There we go. Hold on, let me uh, let me hack without you guys having to hear it. Uh, yeah, she's definitely a step up compared to uh, what he was. Um, let's see. I have proof. Um. Oh, okay. I was past that. Uh, I've spent the last year in near isolation, ostracized from Jared's friend group because he made it clear to me that I was not welcome around them, even when we were still together. He had to keep me separate to keep up his lies. He told his friends a version of events that omits his I infidelity and portrays me as an aggressive and unreasonable person, as though I'm randomly angry and upset all the time for no reason at all. It's because he's abusing me. His statement is nothing more than an attempt to silence me before I can reveal anything. I gave him the opportunity to make a statement about his infidelity before I did. I told him it would be less embarrassing for him if he was honest with his own friends first. He declined. I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because it's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. I did tell him that I wouldn't sign an NDA regarding his behavior. I've suffered enough to sell him my I've suffered enough to sell on my dignity to holy shit. So wait, wait, he asked for an NDA from his wife. He asked for an NDA from his wife so she couldn't. What? Like, come on. I understand if you want to keep shit off the table and hide shit, but you know that's not going to be a good look that you obviously have something to hide if you're asking for an NDA. Oh, well look in the look in the top right corner. He's uh since I started this bit, he has lost 3000 subs. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. Now this was all stuff that came out last night, and she uh, responded to it. And, well, oh, man. Reading the explicit messages between my husband and his mistress is an experience I would not wish on anyone. I basically discovered that they've been hooking up on all their work trips since last fall and meeting together secretly since she moved here. The proof I found was on his old phone dating from October to November of last year until he got a new phone. Everything from sexual images to detailed descriptions of times they've met for sex. The depth of his capacity for deception honestly disturbs me more than the actual cheating. 
I didn't believe he was capable of lying like this. I had utmost faith in his moral compass and good judgment. He proved me wrong. <laughs> I could forgive him theoretically, but I'm still hurting from his current lack of remorse. That said, I would never take him back. <laughs> Oh, you, uh, you want to, you want to get this person to not talk about you. So what you do is you block them after putting out a statement that's supposed to sound like it's a joint statement and well, well, <laughs> this is what we get out of it. Um. I don't expect fans to take up pitchforks for me. To most of you, he's just a funny internet guy, and it's not relevant if he cheated on his wife. Whatever. Okay. I needed to get this off my chest because I've lived in it. I've been living in a private hell for the last year. Wonder if I'm going crazy because the person I love told me the obvious wasn't true. That I'm paranoid and wrong. I'm not holding my tongue for his benefit anymore. Um, is this it? There's, there's, there's a. Uh, there's a tweet and a few. No, it's got to be higher up. There's some. There's some responses to things uh, that. Uh, <laughs> that uh, th thankfully, isn't too explicit, and I can actually show you guys the kind of shit that uh, if they block you, <laughs> dude. If you block them, they can't talk about you, right? Yeah, that's how it works, right? <laughs> Soon his dick will be bigger than his sub count. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, guys. It's also true that he has been soliciting nudes from his fans for years. I was there. In the beginning, it was a joke on Tumblr. Then it was on his own Tumblr account just for nudes. It was... a. Uh, Essentially, a body positive space for consenting adults, and I proved on that basis. Well, okay, okay. This is what's wrong with progressive women. This is it right here. You put him in the position to share his nudes with women, right? With women. You put him in the position to do this, and you were fine with it. That's stupid. That's fucking stupid. No, I know, I know it's, it's fucking, she's bad, but he's worse and it's just funny, but she needs to take the ownership in the fact that you allow this to start. This is you allowing it to start. You get that. I, I'm, I can be supportive of the fucking mind games and the, uh, adultery and stuff like that, but you allowed him into a position of, of cheating. You put it out there that he could do this. You were fine with him soliciting nudes and interacting with fans in that capacity. You get that. You're stupid for doing that. Is it because you were doing the same thing and sending nudes? Now, I mean, if you want to send me some nudes, Heidi, I'm, I'm fine with that. But I'm not going to fucking be okay with a girl I'm dating or anything like that and say, yeah, yeah, go ahead and post your tits and puss on the internet. It's a good call. No, because then it starts progressing to further and further. It goes from, hey, look, here's a picture of me in my boxer briefs with my junk hanging around. Then it goes to, <laughs> then it goes to, hey, now I'm talking to this fan. Hey, now I'm talking to this fellow streamer. Now I'm talking to this person. Now I'm fucking Holly. You get that, right? You get that. Uh, it kept escalating secretly. He started a Snapchat for getting nudes from fans without telling me. I found out via fan comment. I felt pressured to allow it, even though I was uncomfortable. Any time I gave him an inch, he took a mile. You gave him the opportunity. Dumbass. Dumbass. You gave him the chance to be this fucking creep bag that's been hiding the whole time. You get that, right? I believe that he shut... It down in 2017, I think. But now I have reason to believe he continued to, for long after that. If you have information or were involved in this, I would like to know what really happened. I know a lot of fans participated. 
for the record, I'm not mad at any of the fans for sending him raunchy images. Jared was the one who was responsible for being honest with me, which he failed to do. No one else is to blame in my opinion. I used to think that among consenting adults, it's fine. If I were her parents, I would. if I was her mom, I would slap her upside her fucking face. Yeah, you're a good-looking girl, but you're damn, you're dumb. You are dumb. Oh, you married a feminist ally. It's not like they do anything creepy. I used to think that among consenting adults, it was fine. Now I see it as an abuse of power for him to intentionally manipulate someone to show them their, their naked body on the basis that he's popular internet man. I would like to apologize for my role in enabling this. How about how about you just be smart enough to not be okay with this for the simple fact that you have some sort of standards? Who gives a fuck if he interacted with his fans and his fans sent him nudes? You get that, right? Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Someone white knighting for her stupidity. And and believe me, I'm on her side in a lot of regards, but this is just fucking stupid. Uh, I don't have Twitter. I haven't had Twitter since last August. Uh, guys, she may not be able to provide these text messages. They're sexually explicit messages. Heidi herself might be in a lot of trouble if she were to release them. Not if she redacted the nude. You get that, right? Cammy. Incredible Cammy. I cut my hair like a dyke and short. I'm a, I'm a, a binary, non-binary, binary. Shut the fuck up. Um, uh, gotta be careful when I'm scrolling through this because I want to show you guys. I found it earlier, and someone, a fan, leaked shit. Who obviously saved, saved the images. Uh, let me, let's go back up because I'm not seeing it. It might not be this thread. Uh, bup, 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 bup. It might be specifically under this one. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. Hold on. Let me, let me click out. I got to make, <laughs> that would have been stupid. I got to make sure that this is, uh, hold on. Hold on. This is how stupid Twitter is. Twitter listed this as a, a, uh, sensitive image. A fucking dog. A sensitive image? What the fuck? What the fuck, Twitter? Are you stupid? This dog making a weird ass face is a sensitive image? Get fucked. Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking idiots. It's a fucking dog. I'm trying to find it. There's fucking... See, look, it's a sensitive material, and it's the fucking dog. It's the fucking dog. Twitter, you are fucking just fucked. Um, uh, God damn it, I want to find it, but, oh. Um, yep, apparently that is, and I don't know if it shows anything, which I don't want to see, but, oh, it's just a gif. Um, uh, he was smart. Oh, here you go, ladies. He was, damn it. He was smart and did shit like that. Nope. So it's leaking out the guy's fucking Snapchat stuff and all this stuff. Yep. There's actual uh, images. This I asked. Hold on. This dumb bitch who's friends with her. Who's friends with her after... After, oh, 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 why, why are these women so fucking dumb? Okay, if you know the guy isn't single, if you know the guy isn't single, this just shows how the stupid this Heidi bitch is. You just, you're just as bad. You're just as bad. I don't have, uh, I don't have Twitter. Um, I asked Heidi beforehand, she and I have been friends for years. So she told me as long as she could see too, she was fine with it. We exchanged things under my assumption. Heidi was involved. This is, this is fucking 
stupid. This is fucking stupid. It doesn't matter. Oh. oh, there's so much more to this. There is so much fucking more than this. Yeah, I would I would I would suspect she was cheating too. And now is is now if he leaks shit that she was cheating, she doesn't look as bad because she outed him first. Jesus Christ. You What the fuck? This is this is the insanity. This is the fucking insanity. If you are married, I don't give a fuck what kind of shit you guys want to agree to. You're setting yourself up for failure, you fucking goof. You, you, uh, like, like this response. I followed him on Snapchat for a brief period, not that long ago, February, I think. It started with me sending him risky cosplay, and I deleted him after they all became full on nude. I never sent any packs, pics back. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was sending actual full nudes to fans. I thought they were just teasing images. I always wanted him that show, warned him that showing his dick was a line he couldn't cross. Okay. Oh man, this 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 is this makes me feel kind of kind of bad for the guy. Because like 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 I've said before, there is always two sides to every story. And it comes out in her own words that she allowed him to post Nudes, etc. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Mike, if you wanna, if you wanna drop it, um, and she. Oh, here it is. This is where. Okay. Um, I don't think I added him, thinking it was a joke, but no, no, it was bad. This was the tamer stuff he would send. It was skeevy to every full extent. So now you're gonna you're gonna oust the guy and get mad at him because his dumb wife allowed him to send images. The actual cheating, the fucking, the actual meat of it is just. Uh, Anti bully has the juicy stuff. Yeah, I'll have to take a look over there. Uh, there's a lot more than this. I was going through it and it's just, okay, here we go. Um, my roommate and I both added him because we thought it was a joke, but he started getting more explicit. The more we talked, trying to get us to send nudes, risky pics of both. I eventually stopped responding and instead took pics of my roommate's snap, um, uh, to add part of me, uh, talking like a bimbo. It's a method of getting men to say dumb shit. Anyways, he continued talking about his dick until I blocked. Oh, okay. So you're, you're some dumb thought on the internet trying to, uh, trying to get him to say dumb shit. Good job. Good job. Like you're not scummy at all. Like you have no ownership in it. You knew he was you knew it was, uh, he was married and all these people who's he? <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh God. The, uh, the irony of this is she, all these people are acting as if He's the only one who fucked up in this situation. Yeah, he fucked up massively. He should have never, ever done this shit. But she was stupid enough. She was fucking stupid enough to allow him to. That's what everyone has this take that he is a stupid ass person and he's an idiot. Yeah, it's all just so you know, guys, in the top 
uh, left of the show, we have a, we have an update on him. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it here since we don't have any space. But I'm seeing this from a logical, sound position. No, I'm not. I'm not putting too much responsibility on others. They, you got to look at it like this, Emerald. His wife is. This is between him and his wife, correct? She allowed him to post nudes or almost nudes on the internet. She allowed him to have a Tumblr where he sent risque photos. She had a conversation with a friend where she said, uh, "Hey, he wants to send me nudes. Can I send him nudes?" And she said, "Yes, as long as I get to see them too." You get that, right? How is that responsibility on others? That's responsibility on the wife as well. The wife has just as much responsibility in this as he does. She let him do it. She allowed him to do it. She started this trend. If, if okay, as a normal human being, if my ex... When we were together, if she came to me and was like, hey, I want to I wanna send this guy a nude, I'd be like, fuck no. Sh- fuck no. Are you serious? No, that, that's cheating. That's cheating. So she was okay with him doing internet cheating as long as it didn't divulge or jump into anything else. Yes, he has responsibility because he went and fucked someone. And he is a fucking idiot for doing it. But everyone white knighting for this bitch needs to take a step back and realize she's just as bad. She started off this trend. She started off this trend. Uh, you're, okay, your rural Jefferson has a good good point. It's like a wife buying a stripper gram for her husband's birthday and then leaving on vacation without him. Yeah, if if you know, if your husband came to you, Emerald, if you're married, or any other woman in here, and said, "Hey, uh, I want to start a Tumblr where I post my nudes," and you say, "Okay." And you're fine with that? That just means that I guarantee you she was doing something as well. I guarantee you there's nudes out there of her. What well, She didn't allow him to announce divorce on Twitter then block her. No one's saying anything about that. We're talking about the situation that led up to her tweets later. That's what we're talking about. I know that was scummy. But we, what we have to remember, and I'm not defending the guy. I'm just saying there's responsibility in both sides. Everyone everyone wants to take this high and mighty side of he's a scumbag. Yes, he is, 100%. But they also don't want to call out her. They want to make her look like the good guy. But she's just as much in the shit as he is. She admitted herself that she allowed him to post nudes. And do shit. Then, (laughs) Emerald, Emerald. If she would have said no, then she would have been the good guy. She would have had no responsibility at all. But she said yes. You get that, right? Stop deflecting the blame from the woman. Because she's a fucking woman. She has as much responsibility in his nudes being out there as he does because she allowed it. If she would have said, fuck no, don't put, I don't want you doing that on Tumblr. And then he did it anyways. Then he is a hundred percent the scumbag. He is 95% the scumbag and she's 5% a scumbag for allowing this shit to happen. No, we know that no one said that I've already. Okay. Let me, let me repeat this for the people who don't have their fucking headphones in or aren't fucking listening guys. The cheating and going out and actually doing this shit scummy. But as a smart human, non-progressive retard, if you know your husband or fiance, wife, whatever, wants to post nudes and has friends coming to you to ask to see their nudes and for them to share nudes and you say yes, you're an idiot. I don't care that... The whole point is, is he a scumbag for cheating? Yes. Is she dumb and stupid for allowing this to start? Yes. She put him in the position where he thought it was going to get progressively worse. This is like open marriages and that kind of shit. You you set ground rules and one of the parties starts breaking it. 
You know, one of them starts breaking it at all times. That's what it is. I didn't. <laughs> Guillermo, let me let me say it again since you're too dumb to listen and you're pissing me off right now because I just said that. I never said she is responsible for his cheating. She allowed him on this path, which then he took too far and cheated. If she would have saw that in the beginning and said, hey, hey, no, if you do that, we're getting a divorce. Would she still be in this situation? Would she be finding out on Twitter? Probably not. She would have been the one filing for divorce. No, Guillermo, I'm not too dumb. I'm actually smarter than you. You're just too dumb to actually listen. You have you have a biased opinion because you're not willing to see the bigger picture. He's a scumbag. We've already said that. Again, scumbag. He cheated on her. And then he posted it on fucking Twitter about their divorce. Which, if you rewind back, because I leave things on, you can hear me say he's a scumbag. But I haven't read through all of this shit. And then I find out that she's like, yeah, I let him have a Tumblr where he posted nudes. Yeah, one of my friends asked to send him nudes. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. You got to see that there's ownership in both parties for this. No, my point was if he wouldn't have done this on Twitter, we wouldn't have even known about the Tumblr thing. Shit, I'm just saying that's fine. But whether he did it on there or not, what if what if he wouldn't have done it on there and she would have still released it all and still brought it up when fans started asking, when things started happening? It's still, it was to promote body positivity. Yeah, <laughs> it was to get fucking fans nudes. We all know that. And, and let me reiterate again. In a relationship, there's two parties. It's a two-way street. And... There's going to be potholes on both sides of the road. Both people are going to have some sort of ownership. Now, who has the most ownership? He does. Because he's the one who went out and fucked fucking Danny DeVito. He went out and fucked Danny DeVito. And he kept doing. He kept pushing the limits of what their agreement was. And she even says it. She thought his, his Snapchat was closed. Yeah. People lie. She thought his Snapchat was closed down. She thought that he wasn't sending full nudes, but she gave him the opportunity to have a Tumblr and do these things. Thank you, RB. I appreciate that. Uh, found you through ROTC liking the content so far. Yeah, we do a lot of different stuff over here. Those are, those are really good guys over there at ROTC. But again, Wow. There is going to be ownership on both sides. Who, how, and why. She opened the gate. Because if if you know the person at that point when they ask you to do that or they start doing that, you know there's something wrong in the relationship, right? So you know there's something that is going to happen in the future. There's going to be some sort of cheating. And if you aren't smart enough to see that, then that's your own fault. But, okay, so let's take the blame off of her. It wasn't her fault that she allowed him to post that stuff. Uh, it wasn't her fault that she, a friend of hers, n and knew that her friend was sending him nudes. No, she has no responsibility in that, guys. None at all. None at all. to so readily have all this evidence. No, the evidence was posted by fans. The shit you've seen where he's a uh, stone Mexican. <laughs> I should find like the fucking floppiest fucking <laughs> like a dick and just send it to you. Oh no, I know you're not, but I agree. He's a, he's a massive dumbass, and he just blew his career out of the water. Do you think... I, and here's what I think. Here's what I want to know. Do you think if he wouldn't have blocked her on Twitter and wouldn't have announced this um, on Twitter, would she have still dropped all this? 
I've been engaged and got cheated on. So I'll tell you, I know a little bit about this. I know enough to see the warning signs and everything like that. I was engaged for a year and a half. So I know, I know what it is to be in her shoes. And you know what happened when I found out about it? I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking hang on and try and go to counseling or anything. You know what I did? I kicked the bitch to the curb. And Sicko can attest that. He's not here, though. Um, kicked her to the curb. And, well, boom, bitch. Get the fuck out of my house. In the same role. The role is reversed. The woman is the one who finds out the guy is cheating. and Or wants to cheat. You have to see the red flag when someone asks you to start posting nudes. There's a red flag, right? That's a red flag. So, at that point... Where is her common sense of, holy shit, this is stupid. Why is he doing this? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, stone Mexican. Uh, my husband has an opiate problem, so I'm going to plant a poppy field right next to the house. There you go. My, my, uh, my, uh. Wife has a drinking problem. I'm going to fucking put bottles everywhere she can see them full of liquor and just hope she doesn't drink them. That, that, that's my point. Yes, he is in the wrong. He is 100%. Well, ah, okay, let's go 99% in the wrong. She has ownership in this. And she even said, she even owned it herself. And there's still people in there that are like, well, she, she didn't, uh, she didn't blah, blah, blah. The thing is, if she knows that he has some of her friends asking for, or he's asking some of her friends for nudes, that's, that's a fucking red flag. If you know that he's wanting to post images on Tumblr because of you guys are so fucking progressive that it's for body positivity, nigga, he's not some fat bitch posting fucking nudes. He's a fucking e-celeb posting nudes. You get that, right? You are a fucking streamer too. So that's where what I the reason why I say this is I think she's got skeletons as well. And that's why she is just blowing it out of the fucking water and letting leaking everything. Because now what happens when he shows um uh, that she has a Snapchat or that she cosplayed or she did this. What happens then? People think it's revenge, right? They think that he's doing it to be an asshole to her. That's what they think. And it gives her something to deflect. Uh, everyone disliked the stream until I post nudes. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, stone Mexican guy. Um, but let's continue on. So she has stated... For the record on Twitter, and it's still readily available, you can thumb through it, um, that she allowed him to have the Tumblr, that uh, this friend, quote-unquote friend right here, um, no, one of the friends in here who actually knows her and has been friends with her for years sent him nudes after asking her could she send him nudes. This is not the way you have a healthy relationship. Now, did he go and break the rules that she had established for the whole uh, being able to post his nudes and see others' nudes? Yes. 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 Uh, if she told him not to send dick pics, then maybe she sh didn't put her puss out there. Maybe. I don't. She Maybe she didn't. Maybe her tits are just flying around. Maybe, maybe she didn't cheat. Maybe there are no skeletons in her closet besides stupidity. That could be the only skeleton hanging out there. Stupidity. And by that, I mean if you are married to a person who asks you to start a Tumblr and show nudes and or lewds and all this shit, you might want to double take that and be like, oh, 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 it's a fucking red flag. Any smart, intelligent person would get that. Um, I'm aware that Jared believes and had told many people that I'm abusing him. That's his justification for cheating on me. 
But the logic is flawed because even if I am the worst person in the world, it's still his responsibility to break up with me instead of banging other girls. I can, I can agree to that. I can see the logic in that. That said, I begged to know what I was doing to that hurt him so I could fix it. He could never give me actionable feedback. He couldn't point to any of my current behaviors that needed to change. I spent every day desperate to please him while he gave me the silent treatment. He had absolute financial and social control over me. I have been powerless by comparison. I couldn't even move out without him co-signing my lease. I couldn't even get away when he didn't want me anymore. Okay. I, okay. He, you couldn't move out without him co-signing your lease, which means you have credit issues and that's fine. Or you don't make enough money. But that's not that's not him trying to control you. That just might be on her side anyways. Um, I held on to this marriage for so long. I believed in his goodness and he gave me just enough false hope to keep me hooked. He insisted he was trying if only I were better. I thought it was I thought if I was humble and correcting myself, love would eventually win out. He was actually cheating on me. Yes, we know. You've said that fucking twenty five times throughout this. We get it. You fucked Holly. And he's a fucking massive scumbag for doing that shit. It's, it's now, it's now going to be your legacy, your cosplay and all that shit. All you are going to be recognized for because of how bad this is, is, is Jared's wife that he cheated on Jared's wife who let him send nudes. Hold on, what? When it when you're married, it spices up the bland dinners. Well, either that or you just find a way to actually enjoy each other's company. And if you're having and struggling that much, you might have wanted to get divorced before. Maybe she was trying to hold on because there's a clause if they have a, uh, I don't know, what's that called? A, um, a prenup. Any event I go to, people talk to me about Jared innocuous stuff about how they're fans of him too or whatever dealing with that while being abused by him was excruciating i needed to tell people what happened to escape this he feels entitled to silence me he thinks it's his right to keep his infidelity a secret as though his reputation outweighs my trauma but this is my story too (laughs) okay she, she was fine and well, and she was fucking looking tits in my book in the sense of the way she standed, stood about this, the way she just called out the shenanigans, the bullshit. But the further and the more she writes, the more she writes, the more I just consider it. It sounds too fucking much like me too. Hashtag me too. This sounds too much like it. And what, what I want to know is let's find out, let's, let's say we find out the inverse that she started cheating on him in the beginning. Let's say the reason he became an actual cheater is because she started doing it too. Let's say we find out down the road that she's just as much responsible as he is. And look at this guy's career. It's, it's what, uh, almost a hundred thousand in the negative of his YouTube. His reputation is in tarnish. Everyone like myself and others are talking shit about the guy. And what, what are you going to do? No, 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 no. This sounds like listen and believe this sounds. No, you don't want to do that. But, uh, Benzona, because uh, it sounds like she would probably me to your ass and claim you raped her even if it was consensual. And sorry, sorry, but I don't buy the bullshit. And it's starting to get more and more like bullshit to me. And everyone wants to challenge me and say, oh, he's a horrible person. Okay, yes, he's a scumbag who fucking aired his dirty laundry on Twitter. And he got this in response. Now, his dirty laundry was not, not this. I will say this. He's a fucking scumbag and idiot for doing this. But 
my wife and Heidi have, and I have filed for divorce. So, and he talks about it and lets it go and says that he wants the, the shit to basically just be it. And, you know, thanks for understanding this. Now she goes and blasts the fuck out of him and basically destroys him, which is fine. That's within her right. I think she's spinning a fucking narrative. I think she's spinning a narrative. And I think there's, oh, I, you don't give a fuck and it's none of your business except for it is everyone's business now because it's put out on the internet, Red Feather. That's the problem with this whole situation is they put it out there or he put it out there in a manner to basic, I'm going to go out there and fucking punch those foals being loud. You motherfuckers. What? Sargon just got demonetized on YouTube. Oof. Um. I think she said he was controlling. Yeah, she said he was controlling and that he, uh, because because he was the breadwinner, that she had to have him co-sign to get her apartment. So obviously they haven't been living together. And he's a cheater and he's out there fucking cheating on her, you know, whatever. But this is my story too. This is what I lived through. I don't need anyone's permission to share my own experience. To be honest, I don't even want people to hate Jared. That's not the point. I don't hate him. I think he needs help and I hope he gets it. My story and pain are still valid. And being able to finally share this after a year of suppressing it is the most liberating experience I've ever had. Oh, man. I wanted to believe you. I, I wanted to believe you. I really did. And it's just, it just feels, it feels so fucking, it feels fucking staged. It feels so fucking staged. You should review soap operas for TV. That'd be funny. Is it, it exa you're exactly right, uh, Ben. Is it reminds me of a fucking, well, it's not a good publicity stunt for him. <laughs> I mean... Tick, 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 tick. You guys see it in the corner there. Not a very good publicity stunt. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, anyways, I've spent the last year working on my own mental health and making fairy houses. <laughs> I've been focused in my goals. I just moved out into my own place. I want nothing more in my life to escape my cheating husband and the reach of his social influence. Uh, I tweeted something a while back along the lines. All I can do is keep living with integrity and the right people will see it. This is what I meant. I was powerless to change Jared. So I worked on myself. I leveled up. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, what the fuck? This is, this is more and more and more. I leveled up, deported. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go where the, the little bit of, um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to poke at a situation. I'm going to poke at this situation so you guys don't realize what I'm doing, but here's what I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to get him canceled. That's what I'm trying to do. These type of situations are the reason Stone Mexican guy switched him in. He's all about dicks and lady boys now. That's why he's dating Sicko and, and cucked him with uh, his own butt. You're gross ass. Fucking hate you, Stone Mexican guy, making me read that. I didn't have to, but it was funny. Uh, I'm not a fan of cancer culture. Oh, sure you aren't. You're fucking, yeah. Of course, you should follow the people you like and ignore the ones you don't. But I also believe people are redeemable if they want to be in work for it. During the last few months, I was made to feel like I was tainted and unforgivable. That's one of the worst feelings in the world. I do not wish that on anyone, not even people who hurt me. I know Jared has been hurting for a long time in ways I don't fully understand. I still empathize with him. He was my best friend for seven years, but I'm going to tell all of everything on here. I want to be the type of person who can still draw on compassion in spite of their own pain. I'm still working on that. Okay, here's, 
Here's what I'm going to point out to you guys and what a lot of people don't know. She played this. He blocked me. I don't know what the announcement game was, but she's already living in her own place. Has anyone noticed? Has any of you guys noticed that? She leaked it. She's in her own place. And he went on and talked about them getting divorced. It's kind of convenient that all of a sudden she's trying to act like she didn't know what was going on. It's kind of convenient that she played this game where she was blocked on Twitter and didn't know the announcement. You see that? You see the shadiness in this? Yes, I love redheads. Redheads are a fucking huge turn on for me. But I'm not blinded by tits and ass. I can look at things logically. Now, yeah, she moved on months ago. Exactly. And they probably filed for divorce months ago. And now everyone is fucking destroying this guy. Doesn't this seem similar to any of the other Me Too moments? This just is, this is a Me Too moment where it's all mental and no physical abuse and, and a cheater. This is a cheater. Get it? She is a content maker and is supposed to go offline because she's dating a creep. No, she's, she's a content creator. He's a content creator, but she doesn't, if, if she doesn't want to let people know that they're getting divorced or she wants to, I don't know, win out over him because I guarantee you, I'd love to see if she has a, uh, if she has a social blade and watch the, watch the reverse, you will see the reverse. She will be having a massive growth of, of followers. I can almost fucking guarantee it. During these last few months when I was living out on my own but not telling anyone and we were filing for divorce, but um, I didn't want anyone to know. And then Jared released it last night. Ooh, 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 ooh. Was it getting out to their fans? Why announce it on Twitter? Probably because he wanted to let his fans know. Probably because, I mean, it's within his right. Why? I mean, where it, it, these two are both... Uh, social uh, e-celebs and internet personalities. They both are. She's a cosplayer girl and he's a, he's a YouTube creator. And he made a statement. And I mean, that's what... Uh, it's what's hard about this whole situation is there's always two sides to every story, right? So he does it the uh, I'm not going to say too much way. I'm not going to say much. Um, and he's a cheater. And she is playing it up and we don't know much because he hasn't said anything. Maybe he went silent because, well, like he said in his his tweet that he wants to do I will add that this decision was re reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding this matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority. So what if, what if he's not the bad guy? What if shark hair? <gasps> Oh shit. I think you just came up with a new one. Um, shark fin. Uh, I think find a, find a character that has a, uh, uh, a shark fin on their, their head. And then, uh, you can meme it and we'll get you in the discord and you can make fun of my head. Cause we got Jimmy Neutron already, Donkey Kong, all kinds of good stuff. See, look, look, that's, that's Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron. Um, but what if, and this is hypothetical because I don't know, what if he's not the bad guy in the situation? What if he is a cheater and an adulterer? Or what if, what if she's been living on her own for months and she moved out and then he started fucking around? What if? We don't know. 
and we're taking the uh, the 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 ramblings of a person who's not happy, a person who didn't get to didn't get what she wanted in sense of him. She wanted him to talk, tell his friends and um, people about his infidelity, and he didn't. He didn't, and so she decided to do it for him. There's fucking so much more to this, but everyone, everyone, everyone wants to. Yes, Jared was a, a dick, and she was, she says she was in love with him, but again, she, <laughs> she let him have a Tumblr for his nudes and stuff like that. She opened the door to him sending nudes and receiving nudes from her friends. And she states all this. You can go through her Twitter thread. We've already gone through that. We don't know that she loved him. How, how, because, because a person says they loved someone, he stated that he cares about her as well and her mental health and, and trying to keep things private and everything. Do I think he's a good guy? Fuck no. But I don't think this, this is, this is really reminiscent of listen and believe. This is really reminiscent of anything Me Too related. This is a one-sided story being blasted out there in 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 massive detail, right? Look at this for how many how many things. This is from where it is, and you have all of this and all of this. She talks about the phone of explicit messages and shit that she found. So post it. She kept, you assume she kept hanging on because listen to this Earl Ward. She posted this, right? That she didn't know what was going on. But in a later tweet, she mentions that she had already moved out. That in a couple separates, they're probably working on divorce filings. Yes. So she had no idea what his post or announcement was. She's lying. You can, you, any logical person can see that if she's already moved out of the house. No, because you could do it without nudes. You could do it without nudes and just blur it out. So you could just see the, the verbal context that wouldn't be considered it because she's airing shit out there. And if, if that's the case, then the, the people who have posted the Snapchats of him showing off his body to them on Snapchat and stuff. Could that be considered revenge porn? <laughs> Silly AG look. Whammon don't lie. This is this is the point that I've been trying to make. And everyone wants to bash the guy. Yes, he's a scumbag cheater. But let's not be white knights about it. Let's not sit here and say that she probably doesn't have some responsibility in it. Because she's been out of the house long enough. She knows what this was about. She's playing the victim card. And I'm fine with her playing the victim card. But she needs to own that shit. If all the shit is true about him, then he's a massive scumbag. If all the shit she said about herself is true, then she has ownership in him becoming the fucking idiot that he became. She, or her, or her, uh, she's a redhead. They're pink, bro. You already know that. Do the math. She's an actual redhead. So, um, let's go back to where we were. Uh, bah, 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 bah. And, and statements like these. I'm not a fan of cancel culture. That's her way of asking people to ignore him and get rid of him. Uh, she she plays the I care about him card. And I can only speak myself. Draw your own conclusions, sure, and feel your, feel your feelings. Your response is valid, too. My point here is really just that I'm not trying to incite hate towards him. I don't hate him. I would prefer to see him get help and heal. I would never take him back, though. I can't be a part of his healing and we're better off separate. I still hope he recovers. So that becomes the, I'm the good guy. I'm the good guy because I want to see the best for him. However, he played the good guy card and then her shit came out directly after it, acting like she didn't know what he was talking about and what. We all just fucking jumped on his ass. Everyone jumped on his ass. We didn't wait until she fucking started saying things that contradicted statements of her own. I don't know 
what he did on his Snapchat. There's accusations that he sent to underage kids. And if that's the case, then he's a creepy fucking pedophile scum. But here's the thing. He can be held accountable for all of his stupid points. Oh, it's not MGTOW. What this is, is this is just me being a logical human. I am a level-headed person. And as as I've, I went from saying, yes, he's a scumbag, 100%. He's full ownership. And this is the shenanigans and stupidity level of it is, right? And then, and then diving and reading through her stuff because I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to actually look through it all. And as we look through it, I see her talking about how she's been moved out for a month. And then it seems like, uh, seems like he made an announcement after she said no to the NDA day, the NDA, they're both covering their asses probably. And she probably, she probably is now diving in on him, asked him not to bring up the cheating shit, which is within his rights. I mean, it's still scummy, but it's, it's, it's the game she's playing is I didn't know what this announcement was. He had, he asked me for an NDA. Don't you see that? If he asked you for an NDA before he tweeted this out, you know what it's about. He is a scumbag, human piece of shit, but you're no better period because you're playing on the heartstrings of everyone in this community. Aaron, I'm not talking about that right now. Yes, he's a, we can make assumptions based on what's been sent and what people have said. People can say whatever they want. So yes, if he sent it to people who are under age, then yes, that's actually not pedophilia because they're not under 13. It's whatever the other philia is. But if he solicited nudes from someone under the age of 18, federally that's against the law even if they can consent to having sex with them based on state law because some states have as low as i think of 16 17 is uh age for consent right so but federally you cannot send or solicit nudes from a minor anyone under the age of 18 um even if you're in a state where you could be having sex with that minor so setting that aside i am showing that this is all I'm showing is he's a scumbag. He has all these accusations coming at him. He deserves what he's getting. I don't know how to pronounce it, but apparently it's right there. This is all the shit. And then she tries to play on us and others by acting like she didn't know what was going on. She even got one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform when it comes to live streams and community to cover her. She got Jim to cover her. And that blew it up. She's gotten memeology to cover it. All these people to cover it. And no one has dived deep enough to look at the shit she's doing. Is he a scumbag for potentially soliciting and sending nudes to underagers? Yes. He fucking deserves. If, if, if they can prove it, he deserves to go to jail. If he cheated on her, is he a scumbag? Yes. He is. And Danny DeVito over there is just as much at fault because she knew he was married and she still fucked him. So, yes. But that doesn't alleviate responsibility. Ephibi, ephibophilia? Ephibophilia? But, one, he's a fucking male feminist. Is it surprising that he has some closet skeletons and all that shit? No, it's not. Fucking why else would you be a male feminist? Period. <laughs> his wife is fucking really hot. But his wife is also stupid. She said, yes, post your nudes there. Yes, take nudes from my friend on the internet. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about here uh, because I ha he's blocked me on Twitter. But I'm not going to tell you guys when you first see this post that I haven't lived with him for months. That he asked for an NDA. And that all of a sudden, when he decides to post this, I'm going to play the victim. No one else is talking about this. Hopefully, the other way bigger content creators cover some of this shit and actually hear some of this shit. Because 
she is just as wrong. So let's 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 continue up. Um. Uh, ba -ba oh, and apparently she's uh keeping his cat or their cat or whatever, and uh, yeah. She retweeted this, and apparently, um, I want to talk about this. And honestly, there are things that I've wanted to air out for quite some time, but didn't because Heidi asked me not to. I'm scared what Heidi's saying is true. Yes, because we believe everyone um, Jared uh, saying is true. Jared, Holly, if y'all need to block me, frankly, I don't give a fuck. You can't hide from what you did. Okay, cool. They cheated. We get it. It's disgusting to me. That you think vague statements hiding behind friends are going to make this go away. I know Heidi has proof too. Uh, so do you. To be clear, I'm adding my voice to this because I want to be involved and I want to fuck Heidi. Oh, wait. Hold on. He didn't say that. I want to not just because Heidi is a friend, but I watched a lot of it unfold throughout the year. Heidi and Jared were kind enough to invite me into their hotel room uh, last KatsuCon when I didn't have other accommodations. I walked in on more than one occasion of a Heidi in tears and Jared saying nothing. I tried not to pry. I was told it was an issue with friends. I remember it felt off. So now, now someone else is dropping in the mix. Fast forward to July, I went to Seattle to visit. I had a great time with both Heidi and Jared, but more of the same pattern would emerge while I was out there. And at the time, I remember thinking how strange it was, but again, didn't want to intrude. Uh, one more time before PAX and Unplug, I check in with Heidi, and after some awkward conversation about PAX, she fills me on what's happening. Um, I was ready to have words. I was shocked and appalled. But I want to put this out there. I didn't. Why? Because Heidi made me swear I wouldn't do anything because she wanted to save her marriage and work through things with Jared despite what she had happened. And yes, I have the receipts from that combo still. Uh, so for the past six, seven months, I've watched my friend suffer while her husband cheated on her and constantly moved the proverbial goalposts in regards to any reconciliation. Maybe at that point she should realize that, hey, cut your losses, dumbass. I've watched her joy and passion of things drained away, but it's all on the open now. So here's my piece. Adding in to the numerous truths coming out. I've been cheated on. The people that do these things are often selfish and self-absorbed. They don't care about anyone or the cost. Yes. That's why, that's what I've got to say. If you don't want to see me retweeting Heidi or Jesse Pride, hold on. Jesse Pride more? Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course they would have some ties to Jesse fucking pride more. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course they would. Uh, volume louder. Uh, it's as loud as it goes. OBS is set up as loud as it goes. I'm just not shouting at my mic because I don't want it to echo on you guys. Um, to be quite honest, uh, the more that this gets dug into, Jesse pride more is a scumbag who, well... Begs for money on, on uh, what's it called? Begs for her rent on. Uh, this is Jesse Pridemore. Jesse Pridemore begs for money on uh, what's it called? Uh, Indiegogo because she can't afford to pay her rent there. She's always fucking running an Indiegogo. She's some cosplayer who obviously isn't doing well enough for herself. Begs for people to uh, help her move. And all that shit. She was on some sci-fi cosplay show or something. She's some dumb, dumb fucking cosplay girl. Um, anyways. Oh, man. Yeah, another e-thought, exactly. I mean, you uh, you guys have seen her. Because the only reason I found out about Jesse Pride more is because of, uh, because of uh, the ROTC community. Um, I will say this. Jared's a fucking scumbag human being, but everyone backing and playing uh, protector and basically dropping, not pointing out the facts and statements of her own and her lies, you're not helping. Point out everyone's fault in the situation. She has openly admitted multiple times that you can see that statement that she didn't know what it was about was a lie. 
She lied to you all. And Medicur jumped on it. Cog jumped on it. I don't know. I didn't get to watch Cog stream today. I know he was covering it. I don't know if he dove in as deep. But. But. Memology covered it. All these people covered it. And it's a very focused on Jared. You might want to dive in a little bit into the shenanigans and lies that this bitch has posted. And I'm not defending Jared because he is fucking human garbage. But I'm saying we can't just play the game where it's listen and believe. We've all been through watching that shit. Uh, hold on, what's this? You demonize and then you, it, we call it the... What? Come on, come on, come on. Re relative, relative. Exactly, there's two sides. And by diving into this person a little more, we see that she is a liar too. She is a liar too. To make up statements like that after, to say and post a tweet that I don't know what it is, he blocked me, and then start dropping everything, and then slowly let things out that others haven't noticed. Oh, he asked me for an NDA. Oh, I've moved out and he co-signed my lease. If I was him, I would fucking break the lease. I don't care if I'm wrong or bad in the situation. If I went out of my way to help you get back on your feet, I would fucking break the shit out of that lease and be like, you know what? Fuck you. Peace out, bitch. That's what a lot of people are on to her if Wayback Machine is any indicator. Oh, I don't know. I'll let it, I'll let it lie there. I've gone on about this enough. I will say this, guys. Definitely don't just believe. Dig for yourself because I was victim to... I was a victim, guys. A victim of her bullshit. No, no. I was stupid enough to believe believe what she was saying before I dove into her shit. And she puts it all out there herself. She knew what was going on. She knew that fucking he asked her for an NDA. She knew that she had moved out already. She knew what the announcement was about, and she knew she was blocked. She knew what she was doing, and she's winning. She's fucking winning. Your husband, the public figure who's a fucking human scumbag, is losing. Congratulations. Let's before we before we jam out, let's look at well, one thing is he's lost, let's see how many. How many today? How many has he lost today? Uh, 56,000. Well, that's not live. Obviously, the live is ticking. What was what was her name? Uh, anyone know her Twitch? Uh, there we go. Let's see. Well, she's seeing a spike. Let's see. Let's see. She's definitely seeing a spike, guys. I guarantee you, you'll see her boom. You'll see her boom within the next few days. And this whole stunt, this whole stunt will be of worth it. She did strike first and she did strike hard. She's definitely Cobra Kai. Granted, she's a lying sack of shit just as much as he's a big fucking scumbag, potential freaking pederast and all that shit. I mean, not pederast, hebophilia or whatever the fuck it is. The uh, I like to send uh, uh, teens my dick pics. But, but... Well, I mean, isn't, I mean, you have to look at it. Doesn't she, let's see, isn't she doing uh, Twitch streams? Isn't that what she is? Like, she's a Twitch thought, right? Like, when's the last time? Hold on. She has no, what? She has no videos, no clips. Does she even make content? Or is she just using it as a... Oh, she's just using it as a jump-off platform. That's all it is. Yeah, she... It's just a jump-off platform. That's all it is. She doesn't do any shit on Twitch as far as I see. She's got no clips of her, so obviously she's not... She's not doing anything on there. 
I don't know, man. There's just something, something fucking really weird that fucking, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. Fuck it. She, uh, she is what she is. And everyone can fucking be mad because he is a scumbag, but she is what she is. Yep. She's going to be big after this. Yes, she is. She did just get a new subreddit, apparently. Yeah, Twitch is super wholesome. Um, uh, what I mean out of the ordinary is her own statements. Dive into her dive into her tweets where she's talking about the situation if you didn't catch it. Or uh, look back in this stream and you'll see what I'm talking about. 